I got an old 7945 here that I'm going to upgrade you and I will show you that process. Um, so step one is just determining what the current default load is. So if I find this phone in call manager, uh, it's this 7945 right here, I can see that right here under real time device status the active load ID is SCCP 45.9-2-3S. Um, so that's what that phone is running and then also if I go into the device device settings and device defaults then I'm going to hit a control F and do 7945 and this is a skinny phone so I know that this is the default load right here Cisco 7945 SCCP I see that this is the current firmware um, set to um, globally be applied to um, the the 7945s so that's what I want to upgrade right there um, so on Cisco's site um, and you'll have to have a contract with Cisco to access this um, but you probably do if you're watching this video so um, for this example I'm going to use 9-4 2s r3-1 s and I'm going to download the IP firmware files only. So IP firmware files only. Accept license agreement. And those will download. Um, and and there we go. So and open up my downloads folder, and I'm going to go ahead and do extract all. And there are the files that I need to upload to Call Manager. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this file path for use later. And I can close this. So I got the files from Cisco. I extracted the files. Next step is to upload them to the TFTP server. So in my cluster for my lab, I have a publisher and a subscriber, and they are both running the TFTP service. It might be different for yours, so you're going to want to upload these to each one of your TFTP servers. So I'm going to go ahead and go um, back to Call Manager. I'm going to go to Navigation, Cisco Unified OS Administration, and log in. And once I'm logged in, I will go to Software Upgrades, TFTP File Management, Upload File, and Choose File. This is where I'm going to paste in that folder path for those extracted files. And one by one, I'm just going to start uploading these. And I'm going to use a forward slash for the directory to put it in the root. Successful. to the third and I'll pause it I'm just gonna run through all these you don't need to watch so those all uh, work so I'm gonna move over to my subscriber and do the follow the exact same process so just oh that's the wrong IP but you don't need to watch that either just remember you go to OS administration up here in the navigation log in then go to software upgrades tftp file management upload files choose the same files and upload them to the root directory um, so that's that process i already did it you don't need to watch that again so we are done with step three all the files are uploaded so now we need to go to up in the corner navigation again cisco um, Unified Service Ability. And I'll log in and then I'm going to go to Tools, Control Center, Feature Services. And I'm going to start on the Call Manager Publisher first. Put go, wait for the services to load. And then down here under CM Services, there's Cisco TFTP. And I'm going to restart this. This is one of those things that's probably okay to do during production, but I usually don't. I usually wait until after hours because you just, I, I don't like to get all those calls and to uh, be explaining to myself why um, the phones went down. 
Um, not a not a good position to be in. So I did uh, I did the first one, then I clicked the subscriber and clicked go, and now I'm going to select TFTP again and restart again. And that has restarted, so we should now be good to start applying these new files. So if I go back to navigation, Cisco Cisco Unified CM Administration, and click go. Let's say for whatever reason I wanted to only apply this to one phone. You wanted to test first. That's probably not a bad plan. Uh, I'm going to go back to this phone right here. This is the same one we were working with earlier. And I'm going to press Control F again. And I'm going to look for Phone Load. And it's Phone Load Name. It's not too far down the page. And this is where we want to paste in that um, that file name that we extracted earlier. Let me pull that up. And ours is a skinny phone, um, but you can see it'll, the one that you want will either say SIP or SCCP. Um, the other ones, you can ignore these ones. This is the one you want right here. It starts with SCCP45 and then it's got the name that we want. So I'm going to select just that, not the um, not the dot loads, and then I'm going to close that, and I'm going to paste it into the phone load name field. And then I'm going to click save, and nothing's going to happen. My phone is still just sitting here, so you could go that far with somebody's phone if you wanted to, and you're not worried about them all of a sudden seeing their phone cycle. And now I'm going to go ahead and click apply config. And it's going to start resetting. And what I want to see is a white screen that says upgrading. And it took a second, but I can see that it is downloading the files. And so that is a good sign. This will take a couple a couple cycles. It's going to download all the, cycle, the files. Then it's going to come up. Then it's going to go back and down down again so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put this video on pause. So the phone came back up and I refreshed the screen and as you can see the active load ID is the new version so we know that worked. Um, so I'm going to actually just go ahead and downgrade it again and then show you the global option. So I'm going to save and apply config and pause it again. And the phone is back up and it is on 9-2-3S again. So now I will show you the global option. So once again, going to the device, device settings, device defaults, control F, 7945, or whatever your model is, and then the file name, copy that one, that starts with SCC, or sip and paste it into there and save and nothing is going to happen um, so you're not gonna like bring down the phones or anything like that um, but now the next time that um, anything gets uh, done to them like somebody clicks apply config or they unplug it or plug it in that's when it is going to happen so there's nothing in the phone load. That's blank. But you can see I press apply config and this is resetting. And I should see that starting to download again in just a second here. And yep, there I go. I see it is starting to upgrade. And I see it's now getting that file. I found the file and is downloading. So I'll let that run again. So you don't need to apply config one by one. I mean, you could uh, go into the device pools if you wanted. Um, so I could go to system, device pool, and apply config there. Just want to be real careful, you know, what members are part of that device pool. Or you could just go to device phone and 
go down to like uh, device type and then choose whatever model it is and you could select all and do apply config you could do you know then you could do like 250 at a time as many as or as few as you want um, there's probably a couple other ways to do it too so the phone has once again upgraded to the new version so that is it that is how you upgrade uh, Cisco phone in call manager I hope this video has been helpful if you liked it please like please subscribe let me know if there's something else you'd like to learn about um, in regards to Cisco and have a great day